Okay, Rob. John, how are you? Good, good. Nightfall's months away. What are you doing here? Yeah, I know, but with the, the whole pandemic and everything, I figured, uh, you know, people are out of work, so I uh, thought maybe I'd ask if you need any help, you know, anybody to, to work here. Um, I'm not sure I follow you, John. Well, you know, I, Rob, I have a passion for the Old West, you know, and right. I care about this place, and I just want to do anything to keep the Old West alive, so uh, if there's anything you can have me do, I would love to be a help. Something old westy, you know. Old westy. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure off the top of my head what needs to be done, but let's take a look around. We'll find something. If you've got the time, let's do it. Hey there, folks. Santia Theaters and the Ghost Riders here. I'm here with Rob Jensen, film and entertainment production manager here at Old Tucson Studios. Howdy. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Well, thanks for coming out. Appreciate it. No, you, you came out. We're at Old Tucson. Just thought I'd... No, you're, you're right. Clear that up. So, how long have you been uh, in this position here at Old Tucson? Oh, let's see. I, I, I've been back here since 2008. Okay. Uh, came back on as entertainment manager, and I've been... I took over film roughly five years ago as well. Okay. Uh, but this is actually my third time working here. I, I began here in 1992 as okay. uh, one of the stunt grunts back in those days, pre-fire. So. Did you get your stunt training here at Old Tucson or somewhere else? Uh, when I began here, I already had some training um, because I worked with a group of guys that uh, had their own group, and they were all alumni from Old Tucson. Dickie Stanley was my initial instructor, my mentor. Uh, he, he taught me a lot of stunts back in, in the uh, early 90s. We had a, a lot of fun back in those days. And, you know, guys like Dickie and, and JC, Dave Kantner, and uh, Rick Harker was involved with that. We did stuff down at Harker Creek back then. Yeah, came on here in 92 and, and worked here for a couple of years. And then, um, then I left, and then I came back in 96 after the rebuild. You know, I, I came here as a kid and it, it has a certain feel to it. So when you go down to Tombstone, Tombstone is different from a lot of Old West towns. Even though it's touristy, you, there's still a feel there. Mm -hmm. There's a feel at Old Tucson. Right. And it's probably because of all the history here. Yeah, I mean, just to, to talk about the point you make, like you said, there's a lot of Western towns and, and uh, you know, locations to, to visit like that, but few of them have the, the deep film history that we have here. Correct. I mean, it, that's what makes it so unique. And, and uh, you know, you, you walk in here and, and you just you just feel that. You feel the 80 plus years of film history and, right. and all of the, the, the celebrities that have, that have worked on these dusty streets. and. It's really overwhelming if you think about it, you know, and a lot of folks that, that come here, they don't really have a full idea or understanding about what all has occurred here uh, as far as film history and also what there is to do here as a tourist on a daily basis. And they come in here and they're just, they're just blown away, right? you right. know, and... Um, Made it very family friendly. Yeah, and you yeah, know the show good. schedule's jam packed. And yeah. nowadays, you know, along with entertainment, we're also doing a lot of living history. Um, That's right. And and we're doing a lot more with cultural history now. You know, all the different folks that that came together and, and made this region of the country what it has become. It's uh, it's, it's impressive. impressive. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you've worked with some big stars here too. I mean, as a film. Uh, and production manager, you've worked with some of the bigger films that have been shooting here lately. And were you doing that in Ghost Rock? Was that, or were you a stuntman in Ghost Rock? I was one of of uh, two coordinators on Ghost Rock. They had a, another fella come in that Gary Busey was he the other coordinator? He was not. No, uh, he he was busy enough just to coordinate himself. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Every one of you has orders to report to the mess deck for the party. You stand fast. 
I would imagine that the, the shows have changed quite a bit since those days, and not so much the 70s, but thinking back to when Jack Young first started doing the shows out here and starting them, you know, you've got all sorts of technology now. You, I don't know if they had explosions they were doing back then. Maybe they did. Uh, oh, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they had their own <clears throat> black powder explosions. Did they really? And we, wow. still, we still do that to, to this day for our mini tramp gags and things like that. You know, you know, that would have been something you could have mentioned to me before I did the train that night, uh, that there was going to be an explosion off my right shoulder. Oh, well. You could have, I, could I have just that, said it. I wanted you know. that real effect. And that was just propane, so, you know. <laughs> Oh, it was real, all right. Yeah. Oh, I know. Your chair was wet, so. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Not that I checked. Somebody else told me. <laughs> Pick at you, stinky bastard. Uh, what's your favorite role or stunt that you've done, either in a movie or in a live show? Maybe I could be more wow. specific. So... Um, I've always loved the fire burns. Um, the what? The fire burns? Fire burns. Yeah. Oh, like you've done that? You've been caught on fire and went through something? Oh, yeah. We've done that in live shows here. We've done it for Nightfall a number of times. We've done burning high falls up to 30 feet. Um, one of my personal favorites that I did, uh, and it was disappointing once the film came out, uh, jumping back to Ghost Rock. Johnny, be good. <laughs> um, I, I got shot off the top of the Grand Palace mm. and came over the eight-foot parapet, hit the pitch roof, and came off the two stories into a, into a bag down below. Um, and in the film, the stunt is cut before I reach the edge of the roof. So that, oh. was, that was frustrating. Do you have anything funny that happened in a movie or, uh, or on set? So um, probably the funniest gag that I can recall doing um, was on the Tracy Lawrence music video, Renegades, Rebels, and Rogues. Um, I have a showdown with him in the street. He gets the drop on me and shoots my belt buckle, which sparks, and, and the, the belt flies open, and my pants drop <laughs> down around my ankles, and I'm wearing a union suit and running down the street trying to pull my pants up. You know? Yeah, and that was, that was a song from the Maverick film that, with Mel Gibson. Oh. It was on that soundtrack. Oh, wow. As films come in here, you have to organize certain things. Mm -hmm. I know that because I've been on a few that you've been on, and, and uh, I see you running around like a chicken with his head cut off. But um, what exactly are your responsibilities? What do you have to do in order to make sure a, a film is ready to go here? Well, I mean, it always starts with the scheduling of it and making sure that you know we can accommodate what they need and, and the time that they need it. You know, they come out here and I meet with them and we scout the properties and talk about what their needs are. We can offer, and uh, you know, sometimes they want to use both towns. Sometimes it's just one or the other. Uh, a lot of times, you know, they've got varying budgets. Ever since you know Bob Shelton founded the place, it's always been that film companies can film while the park is open as much as possible to allow guests to come in and and experience what that's like. And we try to do that even still. So you have the walkie-talkies, mm -hmm. and you're talking to to this well-oiled machine that is known as Old Tucson Studios. You're talking to everybody and making sure that everybody's doing it. And you've got some sort of connection on the film production side that's, that's your liaison, right? Yeah, I'm usually you wearing got two radios. One for Old Tucson, one for production. Oh my gosh. Um, hey, that's my radio. Make oh. it shut up, John. Oh, okay. You know, and I, and I handle all the contract stuff uh, way ahead of time so that you know, I know exactly what they're going to need when. And oftentimes, you know, I'm, I'm working stunts on these films too. So uh, stunts, armory, effects. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, you know, working with livestock, that's a big one. Um, you know, we, we, we prefer background actors. Oh, I don't really. Okay. That's I mean, we've been called extras, but uh, livestock's a little harsh, Rob. I, you know, we, we do a lot of this stuff for low pay. 
I meant the, the horses. And of course the you did. Cattle, oh, of course the rolling stock, you know, the wranglers. Oh, of course you did. Yeah. Sorry. I didn't mean to hit a nerve, man. It's okay. Um, and then, you know, once they're wrapped on, on shooting, then there's still the issue of uh, making sure that everything gets put back the way it needs to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, if there's been any construction, uh, use of, of props, things like that, um, you know, just strike is, is another big one. Stunt school. Uh, Tell me about stunt school. Um, I went to stunt school in 1998 with the United Stunt Men's Association up in Washington State. I thought it made sense because they offered some things that I didn't have a lot of experience with, such as precision driving, um, some limited wire work, things like that. And that's, that's where I learned how to do the, the fire burns, the body burns. Wow. Um, so, you know, it was a great experience and met a lot of great people and had, had a nice time up there. Um, and, uh, you know, got to do some things out of the norm from our day-to-day -day Wild West. Let's get going. I was expecting, but yeah, I'm doing all right. I was thinking something a little bit more, um, Old West. More Old West? Yeah. It's fair enough. Yeah. Nice idea. Okay, good. Yeah. More Old West. Coming right up. There you go, buddy. I'll check on you in a bit. Oh, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold yeah, on. yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe like mucking out the horse stalls? I could do that. Oh, you want to clean up the stalls? Sure. Okay, when you're done there, you clean up the stalls. Awesome. I love horses. No. These stalls. Folks, thanks for watching. And thank you, Rob Jensen, for coming on today and enlightening us with all your uh, knowledge and expertise. My pleasure. I enjoyed it. And as always, mm -hmm. please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll and see you on down the trail. Really? Bye-bye. I'm here with Rob Jensen, hey. Entertainment Director at Old Tucson Studios. Cut. What? <laughs> Let's use the correct title. It's... Uh... Film and Entertainment Production Manager. I'm here with Rob Jensen. Howdy. Film and Entertainment Production Manager at Old Tucson Studios. <laughs> I'm here with... <laughs> <laughs> this is very serious. I know. I don't know what's so funny. You were on Broadway, weren't you? I was, but I never had to say a line that long, so... <laughs> <laughs>